Baron's down to 3k. Contracts over the wall. Thinking about the ball breaker goes in towards Bioshik. They want to focus contract. He deals the Baron. CLG just stop him in their tracks. Bioshik still tries to fight a little bit longer. Contracts wants to get away. Aftershock keeps him protected. He shouldn't die to this. Bioshik keeps going in, but Luger's ready to go right back at him. Core JJ drop. Luger's fighting more. Contracts in the front line with a stasis to buy time. And CLG. Amazing flash from Luger, but that needed contracts and his stasis to make it work. The bait was so juicy though, with both of them so low by that point, and Luger being such a glass cannon, this was that national champion caliber we were looking for. Hey everyone, welcome back to Fizz Khalifa. Today we're taking a look at some of our favorite clips from the LCS in 2023. This year has brought a lot of change for the region. Some good, some expected. But there was always a good game to watch. Take, for example, this nail biter in the losers' finals of summer. Problem. Team Liquid on the elder. They're already starting to burn it down a little bit, but the teleport's coming in. Palafox wanted to poke at him. Void Seeker flies out, but it ain't gonna find the target, so the cooldown is longer. APA trying to scare him away. Summit's gonna be charmed up here on the very side of the fight. I shut down Palafox. Team Liquid has slammed this fight and crushed energy with an immediate burst. A beautiful engage. Dopla will not 1v4. Energy. Port comes in to Take the kill under the tower, and MNS has got nowhere to run. Running under the tower for protection, but Shaden can take this one up as Unforgiven should be able to pick up the kill. Gets a ward into the brush, so they find eyes onto MNS and get vision down. Shaden trying to slow him down with the Arctic Assault. Void Seeker, they're making EG really work for this one. A Void Seeker He's running the marathon. Get another available as well. MNS flashing over the wall. No way! He's gonna get out! Arctic Assault over the wall. Can he find him in the brush? No! Rift Herald of the game spawned and started up by Team Liquid. They got that first one. They're looking to maintain control over that second. As Summit goes for the slam into the wall on Maple. He shuffled back into the turret. Oh. Cross map. Barrow just shot. gonna seal his fate. They give the shot. Kurish looking for a teleport angle. He's gonna join up with the main squad in the pixel brush. Drake at 4K, 3K, 2K. Healing back up. Thickla went in, but Stixay went up. He dodged away from the Malphite engage, but the follow up from Speaker was oh. up, but it wasn't. Golden Guardian turned around. Double kill back another Stixay, making a triple. Golden Guardian fighting back. It's so much damage. FlyQuest are done. The soul is stuck. And there's no chance by the end of things. Guardians could chase down when they needed to, but it all came down to Licorice finding the perfect moment to charge and let three go airborne. That left the crucial window for Stixa to re-engage and dominate. But FlyQuest had their own party earlier in the tournament. Check out this sheepish push by 100 Thieves straight into a fight against a Hextech soul. They fire the Spryer plant over the wall, but Closer's not able to close any distance. Flash charm coming out from Bjerg, but it only finds Ayla. It's not gonna do enough. Impact off to the side, but Zikla goes after Devilus, and he finds the shutdown. It's two kills over to FlyQuest. And they ain't done yet. Prince leads the charge. Everybody dies on 100 Thieves. It's a five for nothing ace. And it will end. Or JJ starts it all off. And Piochik has a stopwatch to keep himself alive. Simon looking for the engage. He gets popped by Jensen, but it's traded out by Yawn. Looking for the triple and summon. It's just going to teleport in. He's going to keep and corral Rich and Jensen. But Rich at least summon, separate Summit away from him with the all off. How does he keep doing this with Cassante? Rich is a beast on this champion. You don't need CC to lock down the LeBlanc after all. Flowers, the best CC is death. They snipe him. Jensen as well as Tomo pinpoint accuracy. Berserker trying to do it all himself though. Berserker getting real close up in their faces, making sure that he's trying to maximize these DPS windows. Dignitas has more men, but their health bars aren't exactly super nice right now. Jensen threatening another kill there with an accelerated shock blast. Sven has to save Berserker to get him away from it. The Drake's at 3k. Blabber wants to try to steal. Dentora <laughs> off. Blabber takes him down and steals it away again. He just keeps getting away with it. They'll finally pick up the kill, but Fudge is back, and he's madder than hell. He missed the rupture, but Buzz Out of your Q charge, yeah. because the icon, the indicator for the AoE is not completely honest. It goes oh, it a little lies. bit further. It goes a little bit further, but here in mid lane, JoJo's gonna get ganked. Bandage toss goes in, but Inspire's ready to hit back. JoJo walks away with 100 HP, and Vikla and Spika do not want to try to force anything harder. But at the end of the- Oh, never mind, Vikla's ready to go! Oh! 
We are constantly judging flash ranges to see how tough a re-engage can be, but Vikla did that expertly, headfirst into win number five of seven straight. This team was looking crazy way back when. But even the underdogs of the season gave us some fun moments. How about TSM's very last series in the LCS? They can do something here, but TSM's so slow to react to these engages, they really need to just snap and pull their own trigger. And it's all on Rich to create the space, and Torin making the turn alongside the rest of TSM. Jensen knocking down Shine, oh, but it's it. answered with some insanity. Oh, they did it! Oh, the ace from TSM! My quest bot lane look absolutely silly. Cloud9 get free soul point. Vickle gives him a freebie, you know, a, a, an easy kill there on the bot side. And yeah, this is just a straight up 1v2. Ayla walking through, goes into stopwatch. Berserker just Gale Force is right in the face of Prince. Had already used the white gun ulti there, stacking up those chakrams immediately. Gets the double kill, forces the stopwatch. That Jensen can't make his way over. Oh, they're going for the dive right, though. Back off. There's a feather storm from Tomo. Should be able to blade call back. What's oh, 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 is spawned. You can see contracts hanging around the pit right now. They do have that Scuttlecraft vision secured to the side of CLG, but it's only going to last a few seconds longer. CLG grouping up, coming together. They get a move for the Drake. Pioshik and the rest of Team Liquid ready to contest. Dokla arriving on the flank. CLG go in for the fight. The Drake is still at 6,000. It's no danger of being bursted down just yet. Boom goes in, finds a stun on two. Palafox ready for the follow-up here. Goes after Harry. Contract's very low, barely walks away from it. Palafox still wants to find the kill into Harry, but Dope was already killed off Yawn. Palafox drops. Team Liquid has taken down one for one, and CLG is backing away. The health bars are low, and Core JJ goes in to make it happen. Summit flies over the top, but Dope was ready to fight back. It's big! After the one for one, it was a question of who could be the better raid boss. The answer? Certainly not the Gnar. Dokla melted that backline the second Liquid had to re-up, and it culminated in one of several catalysts for CLG to take the win. Fresh out of their near miss of worlds, here's a stellar pentakill from EG's Revenge. Any single player of any role. They're coming, they're all there. I turn. I'm, I'm bot wave, by the way, guys. Don't be scared. Why are we getting scared? We have bot wave, okay? Why are we getting bitch, guys? Don't be scared. He's not on a flash. Guys, look, 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 look. Yo, Josh, Josh, Josh. Yo, chill. I'm getting, getting wave. Uh, yo, yo, guys. Slow, 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 slow. We're getting turned. Bot 2. We're fighting, we're fighting. TP, TP. TP, TP. I have stop coming, I'm coming. I got Jinx, I got Jinx. I'll kill Jinx, I'll kill Jinx. Don't worry, I'll wipe them here. Look me. Look, Charm. Ah, don't be on. Penta, 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 Penta. Penta, Penta, Penta. Kill him, kill him, kill him. I'll flash him. I won't take, don't take, don't take. Give me, give me, give me, flash him, give me. I'll catch him. It's Q in two. I, I'll catch him, I'll catch him. Okay, this guy has AIDS. <laughs> I can slow him for you? No, oh, emo, yeah. emo. No, actually, take it, take yeah. it. Nice. Woo! It'll be a decent comeback play. Boogie's kind of low, though. It is definitely risky with MNS being so strong, poking around. If he sees that back line, there he is! That's all it takes. The flash for the distortion cast to guarantee it. Him and as he gets another one. He's just making fools out of them. Arrow comes around as Sven and Berserker can reinforce their mid laner. Him and as just danced on their grave. You get that. A massive swing in momentum, in game pace. And this is off the back where Golden Guardians realized a lot of the early gambles and flips that they took did not work out well, but who he gets caught out as 100 Thieves don't get a chance to defend the tower from falling, but they got one kill while Licorice is making work in the base. Yeah, he's already on the end hip. 6A! Oh my oh, god! Oh, 6A turns one, he flashes back, he's still alive! Closure tries to look for the punish, but Closure's get taken out! Golden Guardians now on the front, double lift is gone, Bjergsen is the only damage carry left alive! It's just an acid boost, yo, no way, Golden Guardians! Done and Stick Say has been taken out as well, but Licorice and Gory are still alive. They can push to the mid lane. This just might be it. Golden Guardians, can they close out this game? They've done it. Awesome, also my fault. Sandstorm trying to go through the front door. Glacial Prison FBI is all isolated and alone. Can he tie on back? But Vulcan with the Wild Grove keeps him alive. Armor to get going gold and Jensen. Five man shuffle from Jensen. That was huge. And the rest of Ding and Toss, they will not go down today. You don't bait too hard that you bait yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta make sure that Dokla knows his limits in this. But so far, this oh, is already the- Oh, he's gonna bait. Contract oh. is here. Do it. Hook, line, and sinker. Oh, that's the arrow! Mr. Arrow, arrow Glacial Prison on top of it, the orbital cannon! Luger doesn't even need that. The damage is just CLG outplaying 
in the opening game of the year for these two teams, Poom got that snipe. I was wondering why Contracts was positioned the way he was, but it was to dive in directly on it and grab the double prison. And talk about timing. Check out how Summit completely outplays EG. The wall comes the Glacial Prison and Summit's gotta try to get away. The Flash to try to escape, but the follow-up from Shaden means Summit is about to oh! fall, but he escapes! Summit got away! He clears enough distance with an additional leap strike. Epsor can at least reserve some of his HP. I mean, JoJo's going super aggressive, but Armeo's on the Krugs, nice. so he's forced to use the Explosive Cast. At least that keeps himself alive in Palette Fox to reset. Yeah, really smart there from JoJo. And he absolutely dismantles NRG two to one here. Wow, Palette Fox is going to die. Oh, yeah. what the? What was that? A flash auto attack? Even until JoJo's there. Yeah. Summit, Summit should die. Shaden just needs to start it, and Summit should die. Well, Summit's immediately just going all I mean, out. Revenge is brought back revenge, up. Revenge, no, what no was dude. He doing? And now Shaden's going down a bit. Yeah, I'm expecting oh, him to kill God. Summit. Oh, they don't even get him. They okay. don't even get him. It's going to happen again. FF. Summit's charging up the Intofo <laughs> strike. Shaden's going to try to walk through the turret. Pioshik locks down the enemy jungler. Summit picks it up. Evil geniuses, what are you doing? Uh, Oh my god, Summit just made fools out of them. I mean, that is a 3v1. That should be a guaranteed kill. Only way it can go bad is walking too far forward and getting pulled under a tower like that no in way. revenge. What? Yoshik with the hex flash over the wall. Blabber getting engaged, John, but he pops the Magnet Storm. He has the Aftershock. He's rail. He's very difficult to kill. Palafox going in for the solo kill attempt on him and S. Flashes forward. The total auto attack. Palafox kills him off before Fudge is able to reinforce. Timbers? He even uses the stopwatch. Timbers is still just standing there. Redemption coming out from contracts. Palafox goes to the skies and Fudge can not finish the job. Palafox stepping back up as the root caller flies out and Palafox is reinforced with the shield. They're ready to try to finish the kill. Daisy throws him up and Contracts smacks him down. Energy get two for nothing. Up with Summit, the person that he put the Knight's Vow on. Maybe he can look to get some damage. Oh, the center of the wall. Oh, but it's the teleport coming back in. They closed all around them and there's nowhere else for Summit to go. Palafox sends him to the skies. The three man counter to Summit outplays him. How does Summit do these things? After being suffocated, NRG doesn't mind being countered or maybe even losing one. But the flash to the ward hop? That had to be practiced. Poor guy must be traumatized from these kinds of fights. Time for Zeri! Sorry. He finished the BT after that. Guess what? Zeri's got 3,000 HP now uh, online. Here's another look at it from Prince's point of view. And I guess the critical you want to give him credit moment is that going in with impact for the full chase down, but. Fudge started calling it as soon as he saw Prince take the wall slide. Yeah, I mean, he has both some. Everybody's low. He has double sub. TP. FBI gets to eat all of the honey fruits. They left those for him. They want to, be to heal up. All right, Summit's got the Mega Nar. They're ready to come try to stop these guys. They eject the enemy support from the fight. Summit's going to be held at bay by the headbutt. Energy going in for the Baron and securing it here immediately. Wall bang back into the river there from contracts. Summit ain't going to die yet, but Energy going to be careful. They got to try to get away. Zeri's ready to go crazy. Doko wants to hold him off. Wall of ain't going to find nobody as Summit goes forward. Ignar back over the wall of the massive head. Oh! Yawn and Summit being chased down. Palafox with an engage on the two. APA tries to get away with the net still burning and contracts looking for the damage and he's going to find it. Palafox with a kill. Energy absolutely shit on him. Boom JJ can't get out. Whoop. He's having to get back away. A double kill back over to Blabber as they're fighting back. And Tenacity and Beard just trying to survive. It's a 2v2. Fudge is low. Tenacity needs a little bit more damage. It's Blabber versus Beard, but he won't be able to find it. Now they turn back on to Blabber. A quad for kill over to Blabber. Blabber tries to get the Penta. The shutdown. Back over to Bjergsen. You can see that one on your screen. Blabber versus Tenacity. Blabber can't win it. Tenacity gets him. Prince goes down. Berserker more also fights. giving up on the kill. Oh, more fight and going at it again. Blabber, the subject of Spika's gaze, and the rest of the team is here to follow up. A menace from over the wall. Wants to get some these shot left. Oh, Land. Spika. Going in. Ayla lands the death sentence. Follows up the box. Thrown down for the action. Shelly's still getting that charge on Berserker. Plays it out. Berserker wants to throw down the rolling death. Gets the double kill. What you want to see from Raven. Berserker ascending to go out with a bang. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more highlights from the highest level of play, check out our LEC compilation. Let us know in the comments what you want to see next and subscribe to never miss another upload. Until next time!